Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I really enjoy uh, making those like uh, intros where it's like dramatic entry and it's like you know it drives me nuts because I've got to move like the snowman head over the FBI agent for every single frame like <laughs> just makes me crazy but like I don't know I really enjoy it when you see it at the end so I wanted to do this video just to like talk about you know 2023 and like you know the toy market and how it's going and I think like what colors can expect for 2023 and how like mm -hmm. some of them should probably uh, just useful information I guess. Also I obviously wanted to announce that Gold Disc Pterosaur is in stock. <laughs> Obviously, that, that video didn't let you know that that was me. That is how I felt looking for the gold disc pterosaur was. Because, like, I, was, I asked the community, like, hey, what are you guys looking for? And they're like, oh, we're looking for pterosaur. And I was like, all right, sure. Let me ask around different suppliers, different distributors. And they, like, sent me around and showed me the wrong one. And I get, you know, here's the UPC. I need this one. And they're like, oh. And then some of them gave me, like, prices that, you know, wasn't attainable. And then, so now, you know, literally a wall of pterosaurs. They're here. So, you know, you can go to toysoman.com right now and buy them. They are going for 36 Seven ninety nine Canadian, so that's like a loony or toony. I think it's a loony or toony above MSRP's. So like one of the one or two dollars. I just said loony or toony. I think I just confused all my American viewers. A loony is is a one dollar, and a toony is a two dollar coin in Canadian in Canada. No wonder they think our money's fake. <laughs> A loony or toonies like oh yeah you're definitely a loony okay anyway market update so like exclusive right so dr strange strange and some other exclusives that are also all releasing so there's a lot of exclusives being released and they're not being exclusives anymore and every place is able to get these exclusives i think that is due to in 2022 we had so much inventory especially in june july august essentially getting three times as much inventory four times as much inventory depending on who you order from inventory from the distributors. And so it's like everything that was delayed in the last two years because of COVID is like all of a sudden just coming in and stuff that, that we're expecting in 2023, mid 2023, early 2023 came in in June, August. And everything that was supposed to release in August and June was also like arrived. So I think like all your, you know, your, your wall farts, your jeffbezos.com and your EBGBs, we all like received crazy amounts of inventory. And when the distributor finally like said, hey, here's your next exclusive. We're all like, ah, yeah. they're all like, ah, yeah. no, no, I, we're full. But this but is your, your exclusive. exclusive. Like, oh, you can give Dr. Strange Strange to the, the strange mustache. Like, I don't know. You can give that to, like, somebody else. Give it to whoever. I don't care. So all these, like, stores are, like, all of a sudden we're just filled with. And we're all just releasing these previously exclusive items. And some of them are not even being called exclusives before. You're seeing some figures just being released into the market. And they're, like, they didn't even get a proper release date. Or they never even showed up with the, who they were supposed to be exclusive. But And we know that they're exclusives. Like, we have the... Endor mix pack recently. It's obviously was an exclusive box, but like I think no retailer, the original retailer did not want to take it anymore. And so we're like, no, you can just give it to the mass market. We're, we're not interested in having more products in right now. I really think like a lot of suppliers are kind of like, okay, we're just gonna you know start giving out to everybody. And I think this is true for like the entire market right now. So like right now, like for example, for us, what we're doing at Toys No Man is if we used to order like 120 of a product, we're now for 2023, we're ordering like 80. Because right now I think like 2022, we just had so much product being released so quickly and so many different, you know, different SKUs. And it was like really hard to keep up with. And then it's like, oh, okay, this is this wave came in. Oh, this wave came in. You know, not everybody just wants to buy every single wave. But for us as a retailer, we were just used to like, you know, giving a blank check saying, yeah, give me 120 of every new wave that comes out. And then, you know, comes in and then like the next wave comes in. And another one. And the next wave comes in and it's like, another one. Okay, before we used to, you know, one or two years back, it'd be like, yeah, okay, we got one wave in. At 120, we'd sell out. But now we have like we have twice as much product coming in, and so we're not going to sell twice as like unless you think you're going to sell twice as much, you should probably should also like as a store we've also cut back. Like okay, we're not going to take 120, we're going to take you know 80 of each skew. And I think other stores are also going to follow suit because like it's too much money to put up on inventory, even though like all of it might eventually sell. But at the same time, it's like okay, you just we need to exp expand our capital to that point where you know we were before we were carrying you know. 
a million dollars worth of inventory. Now this year we have to carry two million dollars worth of inventory to sell all the products. Most companies are not prepared for that. That's why I think like for a lot of stores are reducing our inventory count for the next year. Here's a number. Mm. Mm. What's that shit say? Psych! That's the wrong number! Oh! My prediction is all stores are following suit and like we're all like even for the end some products here in at the end of 2022 we've also already started reducing our amounts because well they were supposed to come in 2023 but they came in now so like the X-Men wave like okay it's in it's here now so whatever we all started like reducing our inventory because you know if if the if the pace of these releases is staying right now as it is then it's like okay well we're not going to expand our warehouse space just to have all the inventory so we're gonna you know reduce the amount of inventory we're gonna get once it's out we're probably not gonna go back and restock it because you know we're we're expecting the next wave to come in so why bother restocking the old wave so for like collectors i think like if you see a wave in that's like okay it's in and it's probably not going to be there for a while because we already have the next wave coming in. So we want to make space already for the next wave. If you see something that's popular, it's probably going to be sell out also a bit, a bit faster because stores have ordered less of it because we're expecting to you know move that inventory to the next wave that's coming out. So just the pace of things that have moved really quickly. So I think that's just a natural result of all this is that, you know, wave one comes in, you know, before it used to be there for like three, four months. Now it's going to be there for one one and a half month and then you know wave two is going to be in there and then you know we're going to clear out wave one or not restock it anymore and i think that's true for all products and almost every line that we have right now also i think for 2023 we've been seeing a lot of licenses move around companies gaining some licenses so like i think a lot of people have started looking at different toy brands and for 2023 i think it's gonna be that, that trend i think it's gonna be the same i think a lot of people are gonna keep a lot of my customers who are have who have been long customers for us for like three four years now they are buying more different toy brands and companies that they never used to buy like you know somebody who used to be only collect marvel legends now i'm looking at him and he's like started collecting mafex you're seeing some people go into mythic legions and then so um we're also seeing that like a lot of you know brands and licenses have been passed around or given or granted altogether to the new toy manufacturers so like this year you know we we saw super seven and haya toys get the godzilla license and same thing with the uh, joy toy like you know, the warhammer license they keep getting more of it they keep releasing more different uh, figures and new armies and I see a lot of my old customers who've been with us for like four or five years now. They have started changing their buying habits. They used to only buy like one brand, and now it's like, oh, I used to this guy used to only buy Marvel Legends, and now he's buying Mafex and Mythic Legions, and he's trying some a little Warhammer here. And some guy who used to only buy Bandai Godzilla figures now only is buying Haya Godzilla, and he's interested in seeing the Funko Pop of Godzilla. Like he's moving around. He's not like just staying in one thing. And I think a lot of collectors and the whole community has in general moved where they're, they're willing to just try other manufacturers so for us the example of like 2023 I, I see this trend continuing so like for us for example we're we are going to be putting more money and resources into mafex uh, warhammer joy toy mythic legion and Haya toys because they their godzilla lineup it looks fantastic and i'm Godzilla fanboy so ah! so we're gonna get the godzilla like figures and i'm very happy about it because like the figures look really awesome but yeah so that's what i think is happening for 2023 looks pretty interesting so store wise it's our black ice sale we we just finished like shipping out the last of it so that sale like i first of all i just want to thank the community like you guys have been amazing like every year we do our black I our black friday sale well now i trade it to black ice because trademarking it and black ice sale where the prices will slip and fall you know i'm i'm really gonna trademark this yeah that sale was pretty crazy i mean literally like the data showed then like we had about five thousand people show up on our website doing for that black ice sale and like some of you are like there at 12 o'clock like literally hundreds of you were on at 12 o'clock like refreshing trying waiting for the sale to like go live and i was like amazed like wow there's like so many of you who have work tomorrow but uh <laughs> it's been a great time it's uh super busy but things are finally like a bit settling down i know it's it's still the holiday so people are getting their last minute gifts but otherwise in a crazy year for 2022 definitely had some ups and downs definitely uh excited for 2023 with all these new lines i really recommend uh you checking them out if you haven't seen 
some of these other lines. Just have a look. Some of these new companies putting up some really, really great quality uh, figures. Yeah, otherwise, you know, everybody, stay frosty. Oh, wow.